Are you tired of Wi-Fi giving up on you right when you need it the most? Maybe you're enjoying that critical game, working from home, or sitting back and enjoying that movie when all of a sudden, buffering. Well, what if I told you there's technology that can make that all a thing of the past? Wi-Fi 7 is here and it's not just an incremental upgrade, it's actually a massive leap forward. Today we're going to be diving deep into TP-Link's Wi-Fi 7 lineup and I'm going to be showing you exactly what system is going to be perfect for your home and budget. I'd also like to thank TP-Link for partnering with me on today's video and sending these products out for me to play with. Today we're going to be exploring TP-Link's good, better, and best Wi-Fi 7 lineup. We've got the Deco BE25, which is their affordable entry point system. Next up, we've got the BE63. This is kind of the sweet spot for most homes. And then lastly, we have got the BE68, which is their powerhouse unit. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one matches your needs and budget. But first, let me explain why Wi-Fi 7 matters in 2025 and why you should care about upgrading. Okay, so here's the thing. Wi-Fi 7 isn't just faster. It's fundamentally different. We're talking about four major breakthroughs that kind of changed everything. First up, we have multi-link operation or MLO. Now think of traditional Wi-Fi as a single lane highway. MLO creates multiple lanes that your devices can use simultaneously. This means lower latency, higher throughput, and more reliable connections. Now the second thing is its ability to use 320 megahertz channel on the six gigahertz band. This literally doubles the bandwidth of Wi-Fi 6E, giving you those massive speeds that you've been dreaming about. The third big breakthrough is 4K QAM modulation. This is going to pack more data into each transmission. It's like upgrading from a pickup truck to a freight train for your data. Now here's what it means in the real world. A typical Wi-Fi 7 laptop can hit almost six gigabits per second. That is two and a half times faster than Wi-Fi 6. So that 15 gigabit file that took you minutes to download before is only gonna take you about 25 seconds now. Now, before we dive into specific modes, let's talk about why mesh systems are so revolutionary. Traditionally, routers create a single point of coverage. This is great if you live in a studio apartment, but not so great if you live in a giant house. Mesh Wi-Fi systems create a unified network that blanket your entire house. No more dead zones, no more running to routers when your connection drops, just seamless, consistent Wi-Fi everywhere. Let's start with the Deco BE5000. And yes, you might also see this called the BE25 in some places. This is TP-Link's smart starter option, and here's why it's so brilliant. You are getting five gigabits per second combined speed over dual band Wi-Fi 7. That breaks down to 4,324 megabits per second on five gigahertz, and 688 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. A three pack covers up to 6,600 square feet and handles over 150 devices without a sweat. Each unit has two 2.5 gigahertz ports. That's 2.5 times faster than standard ethernet. Perfect for gaming consoles, your work setup, or even your NAS. Now here's the kicker. For $299 for a three pack, you are getting Wi-Fi 7 performance at a Wi-Fi 6 price point. Now let's put that into perspective. Other brands equivalent systems cost $350, but they're only giving you Wi-Fi 6 speeds. So who is this device perfect for? I would say people in apartments, small homes, maybe even medium sized homes, or really anybody who just wants to experience Wi-Fi 7 without breaking the bank. This device is going to provide you with future-ready technology without pushing your wallet too far. Now, let's take a look at a speed test with the BE25. To preface, I pay for 1,000 megabits per second upload and download speeds for my internet, but internet isn't always super reliable. So we are also going to be testing local speeds here against my NAS and against a 10 gig network to see where we can really push the speeds with all the devices in this video. Video. So here are the maximum speeds that I got, both upload and download speeds for internet testing and for local speed testing. Now let's talk about the BE63. This is kind of the just right option that most of you watching are going to want to check out. We're stepping up to tri-band Wi-Fi 7. This is going to be giving us 10 gigabits per second of total Wi-Fi speed. That's 5,188 megabits per second on the 6 gigahertz network, 4,324 on the 5 gigahertz network, and 574 megabits per second 
on the 2.4 gigahertz channel. This is four times faster than most Wi-Fi 6 systems out there. Coverage jumps to 7,600 square feet with a three pack and a device capacity of 200 connected devices. Now that is enough room for even the most connected of smart homes. But here is what sets it apart. On the back of the unit, it has four 2.5 gigahertz ports plus a USB 3.0 port on each of the units. This is gonna provide you with true whole home multi-gig connectivity. Your gaming setup, your workstation, even your media server, they are all gonna run so much faster on this setup. At $599 for a three pack, you are getting better specs than most systems out there that are over $1,000. And here is the speed test for this unit. We've got our average internet speeds and here are our average local network speeds. Now the six gigahertz band is crucial here. It's like having a dedicated highway for most demanding devices, while everything else uses the five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands. No more congestions and no more interference from your neighbor's Wi-Fi. This device here is going to be perfect for families that have heavy internet usage. Things like multiple 4K streams, gaming video calls, and a ton of smart home devices all simultaneously running at the same time. If you do purchase a multi-gig internet plan for your house, this device right here is really gonna let you take advantage of that. Finally, let's talk about the Deco BE68. This right here is the ultimate expression of Wi-Fi 7 technology. We're talking about 14 gigabytes per second tri-band speeds. That is gonna be broken down into 8,647 megabits per second on that six gigahertz network. 4,324 megabits per second on that five gigahertz channel and 688 megabits per second on our 2.4 gigahertz channel. Now we are pushing the bleeding edge of performance for anything you can throw at it. But the real star with this device right here is the 10 gigabit per second ethernet port on the back. If you have got a 10 gig internet plan, this system will actually deliver those speeds. Plus you're gonna get an additional 2.5 gigabit port on the back for maximum flexibility. Coverage on this three pack right here is actually going to expand all the way up to eight 1,100 square feet. You may think, I don't have a home nearly that big. Well, I'd like to say, consider your front and backyard garage, maybe even a shed out in the backyard. This is gonna expand coverage to those. Another thing with this device is you're going to be able to connect over 200 devices to this one. So anything you wanna connect, you can do it with this one right here. And this isn't gonna be just for large homes. This is gonna be for anybody who wants the ultimate performance for their house. At $699 for a three pack, yes, it is an investment, but you are getting performance that other brands are charging over $1,000 for. And with it being Wi-Fi 7, you're also future-proofing yourself for years to come. Now, here are the speeds that I was getting with this device right here. Completely maxing out the internet speeds that I pay for, and then absolutely crushing my local internet speeds. Now this device right here is for tech enthusiasts, content creators, gamers who demand the best, or anyone with a truly demanding smart home setup. If you're running AR, VR, 8K streaming, or need absolutely zero compromise in performance, this is gonna be the unit for you. All right, so how do you choose? Let's break it down simply. Choose the BE25 if you live in an apartment or small house. Have a budget under $300 and want to experience Wi-Fi 7 without overspending. This right here is the smart entry point. Now, choose the BE63 if you're a typical family with heavy internet usage. You also want the best bang for your buck and have a multi-gig internet plan. This is gonna hit the sweet spot for most of you out there. Now, what about the Deco BE68? Well, choose this if you want the absolute best performance. If you have a 10 gig internet plan or run demanding applications that need every bit of speed and stability. Now, keep in mind that all three of these systems out there give you TP-Link's Home Shield security. You also get easy setup through the Deco app, voice control, and and they all work together. Meaning that if you want to start out with a budget-friendly one to start, you can always upgrade down the road and all of these can connect to each other. So for example, if you want to do the BE25 right now, because your budget is small, maybe pick up a two-pack of that 
Later down the road, your budget's a little bit bigger, pick up maybe just a two pack of the BE-63. You can then combine these together. Use the BE-63 as your main system and then use your smaller BE-25s as satellites that stretch out even further for you. Now you will be limited by those BE-25s at those speeds, but they all will connect to each other in the one app. And that is one thing that I love about the TP-Link Deco system. Bottom line, TP-Link has created a Wi-Fi 7 ecosystem that can be for any home or any budget. If you guys want to know more about any of these devices or the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 setup, be sure to check the links in the description. Since the BE-63 is kind of the sweet spot for most of you out there, be sure to check out this video over here where I kind of deep dive into that device and show you everything that it comes with. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.